Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Right, in the vice tonight, we have the tensile spider. This is the clay horn. And there is the bitting on the key. High cuts, very, and then low cuts at the back. To it working. Uh, this has been a quite challenging lock to open. I have opened it, mm, I don't know, five or six times. Uh, but I have no guarantee that I can open it now. But we'll have a go. I've got a general idea of what I need to be doing. But we get a couple of clicks out the front maybe. Start working backwards, maybe. Then we do a bit more down the front, maybe. Just feeling for feedback. I shall know straight away if it goes wrong. There we go, right, he's open. Uh, now to get to that point, what's that? Just about two minutes maybe. To get to that point has taken me hours and hours of practice. And I should say this is a very good lock. It's not been easy, so I'm gonna cut now. I've set the camera back up for the gutting video, okay? See you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, welcome back. Right, let's uh, get this clay on open and have a nice look at these nice pins. I have no idea what is in here. I could feel counter rotation at some times and other times. I could feel absolutely nothing uh, but I think the pin 5 uh, seemed to be the tricky one he seemed to be set uh, deep like so it was very difficult to get pin 5 set and I'm having that same trouble with the stintsy one a few times I set pin 5 uh, by going in the back but that's a bit cheating for the video really isn't it uh, so right anyway let's get this follower in get these pins out have a look at them ok there we go ok so looking at the core we have threading on all 5 5 chambers And uh, in pin one, we have a serrated key pin. Uh, looks like a missile or an atom bomb, whatever you want to call it. Atom bomb, missile, blah de blue de blue. Let's see if these are stand up. I like standing like that, it looks nice. Then you can get an idea of the bitting, and that is the one that is the same. It's like a uh, missile. Pin three, exactly the same. It's like a missile. Pin four, you can see the bit in there. Look, see, I guess they, they're getting longer and longer. And then the back one. Pin five is the same. Five lovely pins all look like 
torpedoes or whatever you want to call them I like to call them atomic bombs but that's the sort of thing they look like as I say the core is threaded on every single chamber let's have a look at the drivers Starting in the front or the back here, I can't tell. Can't actually tell. Is this unnamed? This is right. This is the pin one, right? Maybe I can do this so you can see. Pin one. Standard looks standard to me. Oh, hang on. No, I don't know if that's a serration or if it's where it's been worn by the uh it looks like there's a serration on it but i think it's actually where it's been worn by the uh threaded in the core pin two is a spool oh it's a thin down spool it's thin on one end pin three is another spool and it's thinned on one end, then on one end and the other. Yeah, that one's definitely thinner. That one's a little bit thinner, I think. Three, all right, there's pin four. Come out, you bugger. There's pin four. Pin four, another spool. I'm surprised that these are all spools. I'm very surprised these are all spools. It didn't feel like they were all spools. Ah, uh, pin five is not a spool. Pin five is a, another like torpedo sort of thing. Obviously I haven't got a pointed end. Nice. There we go. That was the Tensile Spider Clay Horn. Actually, I think I said I wasn't going to gut this one, but sorry, sorry, Stinsy. Oh, yeah, I've gutted it. Um, so, you will have a couple, to, one to gut, I think. I can't remember which one I didn't gut, but definitely one of them I didn't gut. So, hope you enjoyed that, guys. See you later. Bye.